Ever thought extinction was final? Well, think again. Almost 99% of all species that ever existed have vanished. But here's the twist, we may be on the verge of bringing some of them back. In today's video, we're about to dive into a mind-boggling journey, exploring the remarkable resurrection of animals. From prehistoric giants to tiny wonders, these incredible creatures may be making a comeback, all thanks to cutting-edge biotechnology. Before we embark on this incredible journey, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell. Now, let's dive in. Tasmanian Tiger Let's begin our journey with a tragic tale of extinction and a glimmer of hope for resurrection, the Tasmanian Tiger. Australia, with its remarkable flora and fauna, was once a paradise untouched by European influence. But with the arrival of colonizers, the delicate balance of this ecosystem was disrupted, and the Tasmanian tiger, scientifically known as the thylacine, fell victim to their presence. At first, it was alleged that thylacines posed a threat to cattle, leading to their persecution by farmers. However, the extent of this threat is still a topic of debate among historians. Regardless, due to a combination of factors, including habitat loss and direct hunting, the last known thylacine in captivity at the Hobart Zoo sadly perished in 1936, marking the grim extinction of the species. When an apex predator like the thylacine is removed from an ecosystem, a phenomenon known as trophic downgrading occurs. Thylacines played a crucial role in managing disease by preying on sick and dying animals, among other ecological functions. With their extinction, diseases began to spread unchecked, leading to a cascade of mammal extinctions in Australia, with a staggering 35% of all mammal extinctions occurring on this continent. However, there's a ray of hope on the horizon. Colossal, in partnership with the University of Melbourne and the research centre TIGRR, is embarking on a groundbreaking mission to resurrect the Tasmanian tiger from the brink of extinction. Leveraging preserved fossils and cutting-edge technology, they are working tirelessly to bring this iconic species back to life. Woolly Mammoth Now, let's delve into one of the most iconic and colossal creatures of the past, the woolly mammoth. These magnificent beings could reach towering heights of up to 12 feet and tip the scales at a whopping 8 tons. But what's truly mind-boggling is how they might just hold the key to combating global warming. You see, there's a pressing issue in the Arctic tundra, where vast expanses of land have been locked in permafrost, frozen solid for at least two years. However, this permafrost is under siege, and you guessed it, global warming is the culprit. As temperatures rise, permafrost begins to thaw, releasing a ticking time bomb of carbon into our atmosphere, further accelerating climate change and pushing us closer to global catastrophe. But here's where it gets fascinating. Geophysicist Dr. Sergei Zimov has a revolutionary idea. He believes that we can prevent this permafrost meltdown by transforming the tundra back into the lush grasslands that once thrived during the time of the mammoths. How? Well, it turns out mammoths, as large, grazing herbivores, played a critical role in disturbing the soil and facilitating deeper permafrost freezing. Additionally, the thick blanket of grass they grazed upon acted as an insulator, keeping the permafrost from melting during the summer months. Now, enter the brilliant geneticist, Dr. George Church, who believes he's up to the mammoth-sized challenge of bringing these magnificent creatures back to life. His audacious goal? To create a hybrid between elephants and mammoths capable of thriving in the Arctic tundra. Dr. Church plans to extract the DNA from an Asian elephant's ovum and replace it with mammoth-like DNA. The resulting embryo, a resurrection of the extinct elephant mammoth, will then be carefully implanted into a surrogate African elephant. Despite the colossal challenges of cloning and the ethical debates it stirs, Dr. Church's project, codenamed Colossal, boldly claims that by 2027, they will have successfully produced an elephant mammoth calf. This ambitious endeavor not only seeks to revive a creature lost to the sands of time, but also offers a glimmer of hope in the battle against the looming threat of global extinction. And hey, if you want to stay updated on this epic journey to resurrect Earth's giants, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell. Now, let's continue. Southern Gastric Brooding Frog Now, let's dive into the astonishing tale of the Southern Gastric Brooding Frog. Imagine this, it's 1972 in Queensland, Australia, and researchers stumble upon a frog with a pregnancy process that defies all expectations. 
The mother frog starts the extraordinary journey by swallowing her own eggs. Her stomach undergoes a radical transformation, ceasing the production of hydrochloric acid to ensure those precious eggs don't end up as scrambled. For the next six weeks, she can't eat a single morsel. Inside her, an astonishing 20 to 25 tadpoles hatch and begin to grow. As they expand, her stomach swells to the point where her lungs are compelled to extract oxygen through her skin. Then, in a spectacle of nature's marvel, she finally vomits forth her fully developed offspring, tiny froglets. But the tale takes a heartbreaking turn. In 1983, these magnificent amphibians met a tragic end when the last known caged frog breathed her last. Not long after, in 1985, their northern counterparts, the northern gastric brooding frogs, also vanished from the earth. Yet, hope flickered on the horizon when Dr. Michael Archer, known for his dedication to conservation, made a daring decision to bring these incredible frogs back to life through cloning. He reached out to experts like Tyler, who provided ancient tissue samples from the frog. The team embarked on a groundbreaking endeavor, ingeniously inserting the DNA of the gastric frog into the embryo of the closest living relative, the barred frog. However, the barred frogs presented their own challenges as they only produced eggs once a year, leading to moments of frustration for the researchers who had to wait for their rare reproductive cycles. Finally, after years of relentless effort and innovation, 2011 marked a historic milestone, the successful creation of a frog embryo by Dr. Archer and his team. Scimitar Toothed Cat Now, let's embark on a captivating journey through time to encounter the Scimitar Toothed Cat, a fascinating member of the formidable family of saber-toothed cats, which includes the powerful Homotherium latidens. In the year 2020, a scientific milestone occurred at the University of Copenhagen that changed our understanding of this ancient predator forever. Imagine, the DNA of this majestic cat was painstakingly extracted from the thawing permafrost in Canada's Yukon province, where it had been preserved for a staggering 47,500 years. This groundbreaking achievement in genomic sequencing opened a door to a trove of revelations about the life and mysteries of this apex predator. Picture a creature that could reach up to a ton in weight, stretching to an astonishing length of 10 feet. It prowled the ancient landscapes, hunting a menu that included bison, deer, horses, antelope, camels, and even the colossal woolly mammoths and mastodons. What's truly awe-inspiring is the global legacy of the saber-toothed cat family. These ancient hunters left their fossilized imprints on five different continents. As paleontologist Dr. Ross Barnett notes, the present geological era marks the first time in 40 million years that our planet has lacked these awe-striking saber-toothed predators. But what drove these incredible creatures to the brink of extinction? Climate change played a pivotal role, triggering a decline in the populations of large mammals. This ecological shift may have resulted in more direct competition with other cat species, ones better suited to catching smaller prey. The complex interplay of environmental factors and competition hastened the demise of these iconic predators. As we ponder the potential of de-extincting these remarkable cats, we encounter formidable challenges. One major hurdle lies in their evolutionary lineage. The scimitar-toothed cat possesses no close modern relatives. Its genetic divergence from modern cats occurred some 22.5 million years ago, leaving us with a significant gap in our understanding of their biology. Given these complexities, it's unlikely that we'll see these magnificent creatures brought back from extinction any time in the near future. Mountain Pygmy Possums Now, let's shine a spotlight on one of the tiniest marvels of the animal kingdom, the Mountain Pygmy Possum, a species so rare that it was believed to have vanished from the face of the earth until a surprising rediscovery in 1966. Imagine a creature no larger than your thumb. For seven long months of the year, it slumbers in cozy tunnels beneath the snow. But when spring finally graces the landscape, these pygmy possums burst forth in a whirlwind of activity, embarking on a voracious feeding frenzy in quest for a mate. However, their charming existence hangs by a thread. With less than 2,000 of these minuscule creatures believed to remain in the wild, their survival is in peril. The expansion of ski resorts in Australia has taken a toll on their fragile habitat, disrupting their delicate mating rituals and driving them closer to extinction. Enter Dr. Michael Archer of the University of New South Wales, a visionary scientist who decided to intervene. Faced with the ongoing damage to their mountainous homes due to climate change, Dr. Archer sought an alternative solution. 
He delved into the possum's ancient past, discovering that their immediate ancestors thrived in lowland woods some 15 to 25 million years ago. It's a clue that could hold the key to their revival. But these possums won't be released into the wild unprepared. Dr. Archer and his team are taking a meticulous approach. Possums at the breeding facility are being nurtured to be adaptable, learning to consume unfamiliar foods, reproduce, and some have even abandoned their hibernation habits. Now, as we wrap up this incredible journey into the world of resurrected species, I'd love to hear from you. Which of these creatures' comebacks surprised you the most, and which one are you most excited about? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more mind-blowing adventures like this one.